absolutely hate cigarette smoke. I hate people who smoke cigarettes. I have been in a bed since Monday. And, uh, I've got up, you know, I've taken showers and drinking several cups of tea. I've been to the park to walk. <clears throat> but I just, I cannot deal with cigarette smoke, man. You know, and, um, you know, I was in that car accident, so I had to catch a ride with somebody. And that person has been knowing me for a long time, at least six years. And they think it's funny to smoke cigarettes around me, you know, because the person think I'm just complaining or I'm like, you know, I don't like cigarettes. But this is what happens. I get a bad nasal infection because cigarettes are fucking nasty. It's rat poison in them. It's all types of stuff in cigarettes. So, um, Monday when I woke up, I was like, I just don't feel good. I kept trying to figure out why I didn't feel good. You know, my sugar, I take care of myself. My sugar levels was normal. <clears throat> Everything was good. And then Tuesday, I just felt even worse. So I was like, you know, I think I got a nasal infection. This is too much for me. So... Tuesday, Wednesday was yesterday. Today is finally Thursday. I think it has something to do with the weather. It's going to be a little warmer here. Now, it's, it's been in the 40s every day, but today it's going to go up in the 70s. Um, you know, I've been cracking, cracking my little porch door so I can get some fresh air in here, keep the germs out. But I've been wrapping my throat up, wrapping my head up. I sound like crap. <laughs> But I feel better today. This is day four. But um, what I do <clears throat> is because I know that I can't be around cigarette smoke and stuff like that. So um, I had to stop. I had to come up with something to help myself because I can't keep going to the doctor every time I'm somewhere and someone smokes cigarettes. So, um, I also sound like this because I just woke up too and I cleared my throat and my nose out. But I don't feel as bad as I sound and look. I'm getting better. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm going to tell you guys what I used to help get me to this point because I was a hot mess. More than I am now. Okay. Um, what's going to happen today is, is that the, the swelling in my throat never really occurred. And that's why I didn't know I had a, like a nasal infection because usually my tonsils would be the first thing to swell up. They didn't swell up, <clears throat> but I, this, this hurts, you know, my sinuses hurts and, um, it just can be a process. See how it's clearing up while I'm talking? Okay, so... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm making this video to try to heal somebody. I promise I am. Instead of going to get antibiotics, I have acute bronchitis. Okay. And I have acute bronchitis because when I was a kid, everybody in the house smoked cigarettes. <clears throat> so by the time I got to college... Uh, my doctor told me, like, you can't keep putting yourself in situations where you're around cigarette smoke. Because when you do that, something is going to flare up and this is going to keep occurring. I was like, you know, this is odd. I grew up in a house with cigarette smoke. And um, she was like, well, that's kind of what happens when you're submerged around it when you're growing up. Or you're submerged around it for a long amount of time and then you're removed from it. <clears throat> things like that can occur so um the worst case is fever i haven't dealt with that um the worst case is fever sore throat um you know face hurting sinuses flaring up and all of that 
So what I have been doing is, is I drink a tea. And in this tea, I put spices because we all know that spices help knock out the inflammation in your body. So I put cardamom spice in there, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, uh, what else I'm going to put in there, turmeric. Nutmeg, ginger, depending on how I feel. Nutmeg and ginger differ, depending on how I feel. But I'm always going to have that cayenne pepper in there. I put a little raw honey in there. Um, I put bee pollen in it. It's it's not going to be a cup of tea without that bee pollen. Um, I've been telling you guys for years, bee pollen is the best thing that I ever could have discovered to put in my tea. I usually buy the bee pollen granules. You can shake them in the bag and shake them in the in the tea. But um, I ran out of that. So I keep a backup from the vitamin shop, the actual cap, so I can put it in the mortar and pestle. And uh, <clears throat> grind it up. And that'll help me that way. Okay, now what that bee pollen is going to do, it has a little um, a little smell to it. What it's going to do is, it's going to put those minerals back in your body that you lost or you don't have. And it's going to help <coughs> swelling or whatever it is that you have. It's going to help it to go down in a way. See, what I wanted to do was talk to you guys where I'm at my worst. Because you know when you're sick, when you wake up. Yo, when you wake up in the morning or whatever, and that first, you know, uh, talk or swallow or cough or whatever, that's the worst, right? And then when you go throughout the day, you can make it a little more. Now, I've already been in there and brushed my teeth and stuff, but, you know, my nose is still running a little bit. And this is crazy because, I, like I said, this is like day four. I feel better today. So, if you could picture how I was three or four days ago, a mess, okay? So that bee pollen is essential. You need that to help uh, put the minerals back in your body. That's going to help get that infection away because that that is a natural is a natural uh, antibiotic. It's it's really the best thing, the closest thing that I could think to get towards an antibiotic. Now that's just for my tea. Um, oregano oil. <clears throat> helps get any type of bad things out of your body um, when your body isn't in balance you can do that oregano oil it's going to run like bad funguses out and things like that oregano oil now you get a little valve like this it's twenty dollars for that little valve it is expensive but it is worth it you're only going to use like one or two drops i hear people say you only need one i put like three drops in there if something is going on with me i ain't got time to waste oregano oil olive leaf extract i just be wanting to get back balanced you understand what i'm saying because when you eat something that you don't that you're not supposed to eat like it's, it's not alkaline or it's, it's something that's bad for you that's that makes it worse on whatever you have going on for sickness or illness <clears throat> so olive leaf extract to keep down bad fungus and stuff like that um what else did i put in there a green tea, I just added some green tea extract in my tea or in my water when I've been drinking it. And, um, I'm trying to think, it's something else. Dandelion root. <clears throat> I put dandelion root in there. Um, drink plenty of water, like... Yesterday, I had three of these, and I had two of these, that's tea, and I had like three regular cups of tea, probably four, so just keep hydrating your body, just keep hydrating your body. <clears throat> you don't have to keep going to the doctor every time, you know, it takes a little time, of course, if you take an antibiotic. By the time you get to the second and third one, 
you starting to feel better but um do i still go to the doctor if it's really bad like i've seen some situations where my throat just you know swell up this is why i just don't surround myself by them type of environments you know <clears throat> That person, I only see that person once or twice a year. And uh, I probably won't be seeing that person anymore anyways. Because anybody that don't have respect not to smoke cigarettes around people that's asked them not to smoke, I don't put myself in that environment. So, I hope that helps you. Peace and blessings.